listen till today not a single day single session i missed and then completed no even one minute how because if the time for all of you 9:30 i committed to me 9:25 because 5 minutes before i am there at least few minutes before i am there even the space of asampurti does not happen clear so now you declare do you want krama brahmacharya or do you want naishtika brahmacharya naishtika brahmacharya has a one point that somewhere beyond your if you have failed once immediately you can stand back with proper prayas chitta but if you are declaring for sanyas no space for in, lack of integrity or inauthenticity can exist in you no space for asampurti or ashraddha irresponsibility can exist in you now decide now decide you decide and you have time march 10th you declare construct yourself with new patterns only then you experience true transformation i tell you only when you take up the purna sanyasa your pattern of abrahmacharya gets destroyed not before i tell you yesterday rishi manisha was successful only now he will build his new personality if you say i'll build the space of no lack of integrity that is what is jnanatma will be thinking now and be planning am i right <laughs> i can say phd in the science of pachdi <laughs> pachdi means what all confusion mixed together and have to eat because no other option bhakti ka jnanatma spicy pachdi phd in spicy pachdi achala phd in dirty pachdi priya PhD in Tamas Pachdi Priya, Rajas Pachdi, <laughs> Achala, Confused Pachdi, Shanta, Jnanatma, Bhaktika, Vat Shivaratri, Jnanatma is sending a message, she is not ready for initiation in Shivaratri. with this confusion not shivaratri you will never be ready you by declare it's my life future is my life the future is waiting for me am i going to put the same mental setup on that and walk then when am i when am i going to break that's all break it is like in the army uh, tanks they will have a kind of a chain you have seen on the wheel itself the chain will move and create a imprint and move you are like the chain only if you don't remove the chain now your whole life is going to be only imprinted by the chain don't think oh all the 10 km i came is the same imprint is there naturally the 10 km i'm going to travel the same imprint is going to be there it will be there because you are not removing the chain 
deciding i am not going to have sympathy towards me not physically but mentally committing suicide i am not going to have sympathy towards any of my patterns but you always think of physical suicide why you know that is the best inauthentic way to hide your inauthenticity escape from your inauthenticity inauthenticity always makes you do wrong prayas chitta so that it can save itself in authentic kids you can always see they will create a chaos and put everybody in blame and they will be hiding in one corner and crying see ah, this has been done when mother comes she will think this kid is suffering he should not be punished she will beat everyone else and this fellow who is reason for the whole thing is escaped in authenticity puts everybody else in trouble other than himself and his prayas chitta will put everybody in trouble other than himself you punish your body you punish your everything else your punish you punish your consciousness but not the mind which is inauthentic the patterns which are inauthentic you sometimes even punish the mind which is authentic that part you punish and you safely god part of inauthenticity it is like a fellow who is swindling the country he is sitting on the top job of the country punishing everybody else shanta is sending a message i am not pachdi anymore i am ready <laughs> then now you are a kichdi <laughs> now if you are ready i am ready to give you sanyas i am only inspiring millions and millions of you evolve practice these four tattvas and declare yourself to be a sanyasi and live it जब भी आप अपनी पुराने सांचे को विनाश करके अपने आप को नई सांचे से निर्माण करते हैं तभी आप सच्चा परिवर्तन अनुभव करते हैं वेन एवर यू डेमोलिश ओल्ड पैटर्न कंस्ट्रक्ट यूर सेल्फ विथ न्यू पैटर्न only then you experience true transformation the new patterns are not even patterns new energy declare that is the only way you grow in the young age i used to feel whenever i take a big commitment if i fail what will happen means already i have planned to fail are my future i am doing how can i fail there is nobody else involved in it no i don't trust myself that much what do you mean integrate yourself no question of 
it's okay and cute i do so much little okay no life is not going to give you teddy bear to hug and sleep only the real bear is going to come decide what to do life is not going to entertain you with a teddy bear for your cute feeling be authentic to yourself don't be disrespectful to you by being inauthentic i can see when the sundal sudananda is carrying that bag for last few days i can see he is he is standing up he is standing up you will see in few days he will be out of that pattern otherwise which would have destroyed his life for ages for ages he would have suffered with that pattern he is supposed to go to now sri lanka three sanyasis are going to sri lanka sri nirvigalpananda ma atma priya and sundal sudananda even to all of them he is giving the name as sundal sudananda everybody is asking what sundal sudananda then he explains once breaking our rule i ate sundal in the train so that is why i am called sundal sudananda i told no after that also you continue to do the same pattern instead of sundal some other items so you are given that name not because once you did he said yes swami i'll change my introduction <laughs> sri nitya sundal suddhananda a direct disciple of paramahamsa nityananda the name sundal means denotes it was given as a title because breaking the rule that i am not supposed to eat in the train the outside food due to its impurities contamination i broke the rule because of my taste buds the taste pattern and ate and continue to break the rules for my taste bud in many times i was given this title to remind myself to establish in authenticity by my guru sri sundal sudananda true anadar na kijiye shraddha ke sthiti mein rahiye ashraddha mein rahe kar aapne aapka anadar na kijiye don't be disrespectful to you by being inauthentic be in the state of authenticity continuously drill yourself drill yourself listen it is through your declaration and commitment the spiritual umbilical cord connection between you and me exists if you want to be a volunteer declare to a city coordinator who has already declared to country coordinator who has already declared to headquarters coordinator who has already declared to swami ji their commitments only through this commitment 
declaration the spiritual connection between you and me exists if you are ananda samaji declare to your city city coordinator who has already declared to the country coordinator who has already declared to headquarters coordinator who has already declared to the master it is through declarations the spiritual commitments exist same way when you want to be relieved from that commitment declare it and be really be complete let everything happen with integrity and authenticity whether you taking up or completing but things like brahmacharya and the commitment to sangha of not leaving all these are irrevocable shraddha ki sthiti mein rahiye aur shraddha mein reh kar apne aap ka anadar na kijiye anadar na kijiye i tell you with this clear commitments only you will have stability with sangha sangha can have stability with you so much you can enrich the sangha and the world and sangha can enrich you through the world listen you can enrich the world through the sangha sangha can enrich the world through you if both of you give stability to each other as a commitment understand when you declare irrevocable stability to the sangha and the buddha and dhamma you can do so much to the world through sangha enrich so much yourself and the world through sangha sangha can enrich you and the world so much through you how many of you cognize what i am saying i literally wanted each ashram each one of you sit as a pitadibadi jagadguru i literally wanted to give jagadguru title to everyone and i have the right to give legally and socially and dharmically what is stopping us what is stopping us you are non committal irresponsible attitude if you can declare irrevocably with authenticity really really i tell you with authenticity and integrity responsibility and enriching i declare i want each one of you each one of my sanyasis rishis brahmacharis brahmacharinis to sit as the head of a peeta which i have created in so many countries and states and teach people all these truths enrich this is not only i want this is my anyakara about each one of you my anyakara about you will continue to exist till you become me till you are anya to me my anya kara to you will exist if you fulfill it you will become ananya if not you will become anyaya i wanted each one of you not only sanyasis and rishis even devotees 
Muktananda is capable of heading a pita and he is capable of being a rishi. And Chennai Atman Eranjananda, Umashundar, each one of them can sit in a pita, can guide the world. Girish and Charantana can sit in a pita. They live this tattwa, can guide. I am giving you a few examples. Sri Priyan in woman can sit in a pita. He can guide the world. Radiating these tattvas. I am also opening the next door of residential rishis. Means you stay in your place and live a life of a rishi. It is only the strength of your commitment. That's all, nothing else. Strength of your commitment. Integrity, authenticity and responsibility and enriching. Nothing else. There are so many rishis who don't stay in the campus. आप अपने प्रतिबद्धता का घोषणा कीजिए जब आप स्थिरता से अपनी प्रतिबद्धता का घोषणा करते हैं तब आप संग एवं संसार को लाभान्वित कर सकते हैं और संग एवं संसार आपको लाभान्वित कर सकता है I can tell you guys, you can literally enrich the world in unimaginable way if you can give an irrevocable stability to Sangha, all the Sangha's resources, everything will be directly available to you. And when you give an irrevocable, stable commitment to me, all the my resources will be available to you. Whether it is a spiritual or everything, intellectual, everything. Jab aap stirta se aapni pradibattata ka koshna karte hai, tab aap sangha ayam samsar ko laban vit kar sakte hai, aur sangha ayam samsar aapko laban vit kar sakta hai. How many of you cognize this truth because of your instability and the insecurity you give it to Sangha and the Buddha is responsible for still not you flowering to your ultimate reality? Listen, Dhyan Si Suniye. The instability and insecurity you show to Sorry, instability is the right word. Instability you show to the Sangha and Buddha makes Sangha and Buddha not to make big decisions based on you. Understand? If Buddha smells authenticity and responsibility, integrity in you, he immediately puts you in the seat of Buddha and asks you to enrich the world. You are not competent for me. You are a compliment for me. Listen. Even if I make exactly the same throne and the same infrastructure and the same thing for you, never I am going to feel you are a competitor for me. I am only going to feel you are complimenting me. I wanted every one of you carry the same pravara, introduction, resume, dress, grace, 
everything i carry and enrich the world then you will understand it is the grace i carry enriches the world you will also decide to carry that if you carry the grace peeta carries you or you will be carrying the peeta whether peeta sits on you or you sit on the peeta i know there are some people peeta is sitting on them means they are so stressed out afraid inauthentic when the peeta will disown them i tell you when you are carrying the grace you grace the peeta not peeta gracing you now all you guys should think in this language becoming pita atishwar banu should be pita atishwar of oklahoma somanatham and snehami should be the pita atishwar of sanushay madurai muktananda pita atishwar of nityananda city seattle shivananda has right to be pita atishwar of ohio prayag each one of you guys come up with your commitment and declaration have the collective responsibility meeting कृपया सुनिए ओनली वेन यू टेक द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लाइफ हैपन्स टू यू don't tell me no 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 i don't want pitanda i don't want all this i just came to be around you and just be blessed by you no then you have not come for me at least don't tell a lie that you came for my sake no if you come for my sake then fulfill my anya kara i want you to be pitatishwar responsible pitatishwar If you say no, no, no. I am not interested in all that. I don't have greed. I don't have all that attachment. I don't want to be Pita Tishwar. I just came for your sake. Then tell, tell very clearly. You came for your own fantasy, not for me. केवल जिम्मेदारी उतारने से ही आप जीवन जीने लगते हैं. केवल जिम्मेदारी उठाने से ही आप जीवन जीने लगते हैं हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू फील आई एम नॉट ग्रीडी आर आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन पीटा एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स आई विल जस्ट लिव एस साधु अट यूर फीट एंड देन ग्रेट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू फील दैट वे प्लीज रेस योर हैंड Maachala is asking a question. What is giving irrevocable commitment? 
I am able to understand in a negative way only. Not giving it means keeping the threat of fear of leaving the Sangha. Yes, you are right. You are keeping the threat means Sangha will not be able to trust you on bigger responsibilities. Where Sangha, see Sangha will be able to feel only you as a hanging root, not a rooted hanging root. Understand? The hanging root and rooted hanging root, both of them are completely different for a bunny entry. If you are a hanging root, you are part of the Sangha, no doubt. If you have given an irrevocable commitment, you are a rooted hanging root. It means what? Now, not only you are part of the Sangha, Sangha is part of you. You are rooted. Now you are standing. Not only you are part of the Sangha, you are supporting part of the Sangha. Clear? When you give an irrevocable commitment and when I see you behaving with integrity and authenticity, responsibility and enriching in your day-to-day -day small small actions like a morning you come for yoga and you take the responsibility for who is not coming for yoga and call him back, call him to do the yoga, I know now you are a rooted supporting root. Hanging root is part of the Sangha, but wait on the branch, original tree. When you declare irrevocably, now you have become rooted root, trusting you, banyan tree can extend its branches. How many of you cognize it? That's it. Trusting you, banyan tree can take further steps. Sangha is like a banyan tree giving shadow, cleaning the environment, purifying, reducing the carbon dioxide. If you are not giving, I don't want to say it is right or wrong, it is just the hanging root. The tree cannot trust the hanging root and extend itself. Understand? So it has to wait. And tree will not give up on hanging root. It will wait till the hanging root becomes a rooted supporting root. Tree will continue to supply energy to the hanging root. It will not give up on hanging roots. Yanatma, okay? Yanatma has a question. Swamiji, me staying with the Sangha should be because of inspiration and excitement to be part of it, not because I gave commitment to someday. You already started planning, one day you will lose the excitement and inspiration. Listen, you already started planning, there will be someday I may lose the inspiration and excitement, that day I should have a freedom to walk out, if I give the commitment, it will be bondage. Am I right? So you have planned to lose the inspiration and excitement. How are you not going to lose at one day? Drop the plan to lose the inspiration and excitement. Plan to become the Pitatishwar. Now, without even knowing, unconsciously, you already have a strong plan. One day I am going to lose my inspiration and commitment. That day this word will be a bondage for me. How can I be? Am I right? Catching the inauthenticity and lack of integrity. It is lack of integrity constantly visualizes that part. One day 
if i lose the excitement and inspiration and feel suffocated this commitment will be a bondage you should be visualizing other way by now giving this commitment i break the pattern of one day possibility of losing the inspiration and excitement and i'll make sure not only i don't lose i'll make sure others also don't lose then you are a wild river ganga otherwise you are the kuvam already planning for disappearing clear how many of you cognized what i said now only i am exposing all your fears to you still nirvigalpa is shivering inside i can see am i right hmm but you are not able to cognize what i am saying hmm that is what i am saying that lot of things only shivering how many people tried that i should give up my commitment to you guys how many people they promised i will not have any harassment i can live happily and they were even ready to give all the money to my hand but i should not run this sangha how many people were asking i said no what i have given to my disciples is irrevocable commitment it cannot be revoked even by my death that is why i am going to live without dying eternally i am going to live in the space i am living eternally because i do not plan for breaking from this space one day i do not have a doubt if one day if i lose my enlightenment what will happen what will i do i have committed to the all my disciples i liberate all of them i know i am not going to break from my enlightenment Turiya has a question. Swamiji, I feel irrevocable commitment to Master and Dhamma, Dharma, but not same for Sangha. No! That is what is not taking responsibility and not ready to enrich. Then, I tell you, your integrity and authenticity will just die down. It is not going to complete you. Integrity and authenticity lives and completes you only when it extends as responsibility and enriching irrevocable commitment to sangha is the completion of irrevocable commitment to buddha and dhamma because the intensity integrity and authenticity will expand and lead you to the next level of its experience next level of its space only when you feel responsible and enriching others and you now if you take responsibility listen if you take responsibility you may create few beings with integrity and authenticity and decide to continue to enrich then few more beings 
integrity authenticity listen by the time you you take few hundred people responsibility for few hundred people's inauthenticity you will be so pure you will be so pure because every time you see inauthenticity in others you will be doing prayas chitta taking responsibility it is going to purify you so much Ma- me coming to the morning yoga is nothing but me doing prayas chitta for your inauthenticity laziness so now finally i am getting more pure my body is getting more pure how many of you cognize this so you will become so pure you will not only create the space of completion here you will create the space of completion even without body you will be able to reside in that space that is what i call mukti the space where you can be alive without body just because of your strength of integrity authenticity responsibility and enriching is aksharadama only when you create more and more at integrated and authentic beings around you you can expand in your integrity and authenticity that is the only way you can expand in your integrity and authenticity commitment to sangha constantly raises you to the next next level of integrity and authenticity because any level of integrity and authenticity you know now is not complete only when you take the responsibility and enriching it becomes complete complete and complete bhakti ka as a question swami i have a so many unkept commitments that though i feel the energy to commit the current unkept commitments is pulling me back i am moving from non integrity to more non integrity unkept kept commitments are all after all revocable they are not irrevocable complete them by declaring that i am dropping those commitments and start from now in completion now in complete completion the irrevocable commitments will never le- make you incomplete what will be that will be like a brahmacharya and being with the master forever or being with the sangha those things will not have any problem any of the unkept commitments related to work and you are in completion and all that now complete all of them that i am dropping from that commitment i am declaring that i will not be able to take up this job i am completing it complete from all of them and now have completion from the completion begin all revocables com- complete then now you have the place you have the space to start you see authenticity should not be destroying your integrity authenticity should not be destroying your integrity listen sometime i like give an example of what man yanatma can understand with authenticity you have to commit for the next inner awakening 1000 participants 
but that should not be destroying your integrity so integrity always gets the first priority clear with integrity expanding stretching is authenticity leaving integrity stretching is not authenticity how many of you are clear authenticity jnanatma you understand supriya so, understand this say now jnanatma if she sees from authenticity she has to commit 1000 for the next inner awakening she will enrich 1000 people's life in the next inner awakening but will it be integrated no then she has to stretch but she cannot say 10 people with integrity 10 she can manage understand with integrity if you if she says 10 it is leaving authenticity with authenticity if she says 1000 it is leaving integrity with integrity authentic should go up to 200 clear now your declaration has integrity but not authenticity mm what is the question type so all of you understand authenticity without leaving integrity jnanatma says if jnanatma commits to 200 and it does not happen then jnanatma again comes back to so when you commit itself you know it is 200 is not you are planning 200 will not happen no 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 with a clear authentic feeling by now you will be able to you should be able to easily judge at least near future authenticity gives you to judge the near future it does not allow surprises in your life if you are still feeling constantly surprises waiting in your life something is lacking in your authenticity again this is a planning for failure see if you say thousand and you plan for you feel it may fail then i can say it it, may, it is not even planning for failure it's a right thinking of failure but by now because of all your work based on all this work if you have this doubt i tell you there is an inauthenticity in the work which you performed earlier now at least get back to integrity and let you not be inauthentic in the work you perform now so that in the next near future you are able to perform with authenticity authenticity is being in the state of integrity and stretching yourself sampurti ke sthiti mein reh kar apne aap ko विस्तारित करना श्रद्धा होता है i have a commitment declaration collective responsibility declaration from malaysia sangha when i read it i tell you i just want to send kalabairava immediately to malaysia to bless all of them and i am sending i'll read out their declaration please listen 
they are stretching themselves from the state of integrity without leaving the state of integrity we declare in front of swami ji kala bhairava and the sangha with integrity sampurti authenticity responsibility and enriching ourselves and others that the malaysia parani sangha declares that we are enriching the world by building self sustaining nityananda nagar in over 5 years period of time the nityananda nagar is distributed in various places across malaysia narantras alter your plan based on this alter your plans based on this master plan master's plan is the plan going to be executed master's plan is planning to make masters they say enriching the community through setting up of three different organization to overlook and run the whole project in different areas nityananda dhyanapeetha malaysia already started the registration process mainly to run all the charitable activities and community service projects completion of registration and setting up process to be done by end of october 2013 nityananda family cooperative society limited enriching the members to uplift their economic status and through various business opportunities by obtaining grants from government and also funding various projects such as building temple and ashram completion of registration and setting up process to be done by end of october 2013 blessings blessings to both the projects nityananda foundation malaysia enriching the members by providing assistance to their, to their children to pursue the higher studies by providing scholarships and loans blessings successful you will be successful this nityananda family cooperative society can be like getting best things from india importing to malaysia and selling and we will give you the all the support from india i tell you start create shops anything indian we have it or we will get it that's your tagline shops should be called as anything indian that's the name start the chain stores anything indian title tagline is we have it or we will get it So Malaysia guys I give you the clear business plan anything indian that should be the shop name we have it or we will get it if you wanted a tamil name i give you the name madurai kedai that's a malaysian thing madurai anything you want we have it or we get it do this we will give you a complete support from india to get all the best things nirantara plan for employing all the devotees who are living this tattvas who are living this tattvas employ them have a huge group of employees think like a walmart you will be able to do and third plan representing as an official and the largest living hindu vedic community in malaysia yes i bless you guys and southeast asia i bless you guys it'll happen we will be the largest living hindu community in malaysia and southeast asia blessings enriching 100000 people for living the four tatvas 
as a way of life by creating brahmanas. I can give even Tamil inner awakening in Malaysia. Plan for it. So understand, the fourth commitment you guys gave is Nivedya. Now the updation I gave and I am giving it back to you is Prasada. Whatever you guys sent is Nivedya. Now what I am giving back to you guys as updated, it's a Prasada. Fifth, enriching thousands of youths by creating the biggest Hindu monastery by educating and training Sannyasis and Rishis, blessings, you guys will be successful. Do it. Do it. By then, you will have, start the work, soon you will have lot of Sannyasis and Rishis happening. As I said, we will start the next resi residential Rishis. creating a temple based on the bogus concept of Parani Navapashana Murugan and will also include multi-story complex with Nityananda Sabha accommodating 5000 people at a time accommodation for visitors and ashramites Nityananda Annalaya serving thousands at a time and Vedic library and international standard gym and yogalaya blessings only one line I wanted to add in this, creating a temple based on Bogar's their concept of Parani Navapashana Murugan. <laughs> Parani name I gave for one center, Kuala Lumpur. For whole Malaysia, we may have some other name. Please understand, Malaysia Parani was given to only Kuala Lumpur center. So for each different centers, we will give a different, different spiritual name. And enriching 5,000 families living this tattva as community. Tatastu. So be it. <laughs> enriching the community by establishing agriculture business based on these four tattvas as oil palms estate plantation and rubber plantation which is the main income generation in Malaysia. Also various small medium enterprises such as textiles, tailoring and food based industry. Enriching people through setting up of Nityananda Research Institute of Science and Technology based on the Gaumara. I get, just add only one addition based on the Nityananda Sampradaya itself. So Nirantara do research institute of science and technology based on Nityananda Sampradaya. Enriching Ayurvedic and Siddha knowledge to the world by forming Ayurvedic and Siddha Research Center and University. Wow! Blessings! Nityananda Ayurvedic and Siddha I tell you NASA, NASA, Nityananda Ayurvedic Siddha Academy.
make NASA. You call it as great. Hmm? Make a university beautiful. And the eleventh project, enriching the world by providing Nityananda Vedic library to do further study on Vedic knowledge and spirituality. Study on Vedic knowledge and spirituality will be set up by 1st October 2013. Also includes internet cafe with interactive technology. Blessings. You will be successful. You will be successful. Enriching the beautiful meaning of Goshala to the world and make people understand and sacred value of cows to rear, rear 500 cows in the first year and gradually increase every year. Wow! And 13th project, enriching through free medical camp known as the Nityananda Mobile Clinic conducted every two weeks, also creating physiotherapy and rehabilitation center by January 2014. All the above declarations will be described in detail by next meeting on 23rd March 2013. By then, all the volunteers who have taken up responsibility to land search, various licensing needs and planning organizing various activities to raise fund, every one of the Sangha members will have at least one responsibility for collectively enriching in this declaration. Tatastu, bless you guys, my blessings, it will become reality. First thing I want to tell, the headquarters of the Malaysia should be near Kuala Lumpur. Plan, look for everything near Kuala Lumpur. And this is my commitment to you guys, smoothly money, land, people, everything will flow. The whole thing will be successful. Power of your integrity and commitment will make everything reality. Will make everything reality. So first, first thing you guys need to do, start enriching 100,000 lives through inner awakening. Create a beautiful, already English website for the four tattvas is getting created by Seattle. You guys can think of creating, I don't think you need to even create a separate website, no need. Everybody in Malaysia knows English. And start enriching people with four tattvas and enriching them through inner awakening at least 100,000 lives. That is the first goal. I tell you guys, only if 100,000 people leave these tattvas, a group consciousness for all these things to happen is created. Then you don't need to struggle. Simply it will happen. To make an ashram, I don't need to struggle now because I made people who want to live in ashram. Then simply ashram will happen. I already made people who want to worship in temple. Temple will happen. I made people who want to study this knowledge. Monastery will happen. So make people who want to live this tattvas. Simply this community will happen. Nityananda Nagar will happen. Understand? So the first job is making people to live these tattvas.